watch in the Jewish community. I won't tell on the bros with immunity. Can't beat them, that shit ain't gon' ruin me. I'm the only one now that outdo me. I got hoes by the crew tryna do me. My life like a movie, get hit in the water. Hoes got put in no work, guys in order. This shit ain't got serious, the me is come through. What's good? What's poppin' gonna be? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Dominique. I'm an ER travel nurse currently in South Dakota. And if you are not new, then welcome back, Golden Bay. Thank you so much for tuning into another video. So we're gonna be doing a weekend vlog. I'm so excited. I'm heading out right now. First of all, it's Friday, September 29th. It's 10.08 a.m. I am headed out because I have a flight at 1. We are taking a little mini weekend trip to Chicago. Fun fact, I wanted to move to Chicago at one point in time. So I'm really like excited to see the city that I wanted to move to. And I don't know, girl, like what if I could attach? And y'all know I plan on moving out. I don't know. I plan on moving out in November. We talked about this before. But since my contract ends November 18th, I think it'll just be a little bit better if I move out like closer to December, early January. I definitely want to be in my own place by New Year. I just think, you know, that'll be a great way to bring the New Year in in my own place. So yeah, like what if I like it and I actually want to move there? Like okay but we are getting ready to head out i'm just sipping on my coffee i'm all dressed i have a new lululemon set if y'all haven't noticed okay girl get into this color it is the defined jacket and y'all see like the gold detailing is so cute and then i have on like the straight legs and just my north face hiking shoes so i'm all ready for the airport this is gonna keep me pretty warm but yeah my flight is at one o'clock i do have a layover in dallas which is fine with me because i have lounge access i'm gonna wait to eat and all that good stuff because i'm gonna eat when i get to dallas but i do have like a little snacky snack i'm gonna eat on the road to the airport first of all let's get into my hair y'all i relaxed treated wash blew out and trimmed my own hair would you believe it who is she and when i posted it on instagram y'all went bananas y'all was like dominique please post it like what is wrong with you i'm not gonna lie to y'all i will probably never do it again because my nerves were so high but my roots were so thick okay my roots <sighs> thick okay so they needed to be relaxed like i did not have a choice but to do it i was literally on the phone with my best friend for hours hours she had to walk me through it my mom sent me like a big old paragraph walking me through it i was just so nervous let's go ahead and get out of here i do want to be out of here by 10 30 because it does take an hour to get to the airport so you know by the time i get in and all that good stuff and actually park and get out it'll probably be going on about 12 and the airport here in south dakota is not that big i was there when i dropped my mom off when she you know drove up here with me so it's not huge um so i'm not really worried about that you know i just don't want to be rushing i don't like rushing i took my sweet old time this morning you know took my shower moisturize speaking about moisturize girl this lotion the girlies on tiktok have been talking about the eos body lotion i finally tried it this scent vanilla cashmere Okay, don't don't say I didn't don't say I ain't put y'all on. That smells so good. And I ordered because they don't have it in store here. I ordered their pomegranate raspberry scent. I know that smells good because I used their shaving cream. So that's also what made me finally pick up their lotion because I'm like, dang, if their shaving cream is this good, I know the lotion is this good. So I got the lotion in my shaving creams scent. 
so ready to get that when I come home. And then two other quick products that I'm trying for like the first time. One is Their Breath. You guys have probably seen this all over TikTok. The girl used to rave about this. This is my second time using it this morning and I like it. I can kind of see what they're talking about. I don't have that film like feeling. If you know, you know. You know when usually you use mouthwash and it has like that film feeling over your teeth and your tongue. It doesn't do that. And then I picked up these Grin tongue scrapers. I had a tongue cleaner or tongue scraper from Amazon, but mine's was like metal, so you, it's like reusable. And I was like, mm, I much rather disposable for like hygienic purposes. You guys know, once you use it, like you rinse it off, and you know, like you have to keep the container open or like you sit it up for it to dry. I much rather have disposable, you know products especially if it's going in my mouth so yeah those are like a few new products that i picked up i've been shopping not gonna lie i've been shopping but yeah let me go ahead and clean up my eyebrows i'm about to just like like i said clean them up i'm gonna use these little face dermaplane thingies and just clean them up a little bit because i want them to be pretty you know good when i get to chicago that way i can do my makeup i ain't do my makeup in so long girl i'm so excited but yeah let me focus because i'm not trying to shave my eyebrows off it's not that much because i just did this the other day before i went to work And then also I'm just going to go in with this like brow freeze. You guys can see my camera, but I'm just going to go in with this brow freeze, just a little bit of it and my spoolie and kind of just, um, you know, shake my eyebrows up a little bit. Like I said, it's not that much, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep these clips in. If I keep these clips in, do I look like crazy? I wish y'all could tell me. Cause I really want to keep these in like especially I'm going to the airport like let's be real my hair doesn't need to be flying in the wind okay I'm gonna keep them in for the drive at least and then I'll see how I feel once I get to the airport let's go ahead and get out of here like I said um Lululemon on the outfit North Face on the shoes I'm just gonna throw this perfume on because this is the one that's just sitting in my face. This is my love by Tiffany Cole. This is the same one that I wear to work because it's super light. But I don't have a bottom top on either. I need to stop at Lululemon and get like some basic, um, y'all know like tanks, like the white tanks. That way like I can open up my jacket, but I can't even open up my jacket, but it's going to be cold on the plane anyways. Let's go ahead and get out of here. actually it's going on 12 a.m i just wanted to come on here and say good night i did order some buffalo wild wings to the room i tore it up i do have some left over but i tore that up y'all i was so excited to have buffalo wild wings because i don't have a buffalo wild wings or any like big chain restaurants in the small town that i'm working in 
in South Dakota. So it's really nice to have these restaurants, you know, like I'm back at home. So if I gain 10 pounds here, girl, I welcome it because I miss all of the foods. Like, okay, so I'm definitely gonna be a foodie while I'm here. Um, Cause I've been doing like a lot of cooking, girl. A lot of cooking, but I am on my way to bed. I am beat, y'all seen, I've been basically traveling all day. I left the room at like what 10 30 and I'm just now getting here at like 10 o'clock because it was a um like 40 30 40 minute uber ride from O'Hare and um yeah because I'm like smack dab in the middle of downtown I will have all of my hotel information down below for you guys in case you are interested so far I like it it's very cute very like art deco type of style you guys saw like the bathroom has like that yellow wall and I'll show you guys like the lobby and stuff tomorrow I was just ready to get upstairs and you know get checked in and get some food ordered to the room but yeah i'm all showered you know bonnets on i ate i'm actually in here watching martin don't mind my stuff over here so they were like booked she said they're super booked this weekend so they did not have any king beds and i'm not that type of person that's like tripping over me having you know a queen bed like it is what it is girl i got a place to lay my head okay that's all i all i care about i'm safe that's that's all i care about she's like i'm so sorry i was like girl it's okay so i got myself laid out over there that's what y'all see my suitcase is literally on the bed but i'm in here watching martin um i'm about to call it a night because tomorrow we do have the um architecture boat tour it's like a very popular um attraction that you do when you're in chicago you go down you know the water on the boat and they talk to you about all of the buildings and stuff but I'm really excited for all the pictures and videos that I'm gonna get because it's like breathtaking on the water. I see everyone else's, you know, videos and stuff on TikTok and like Google and stuff. So I'm excited to get my own. But yeah, um, we got that tomorrow. I also wanna go visit like the famous Bean. And I am like right off of Michigan Avenue. So I am like minutes away from all of the shops, like all of the shops that's gonna make me broke, girl. When my lift was dropping me off, we were coming down the road and I literally saw all the stores, okay? I saw Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, Burberry, and I, I can't unsee it, I can't unsee it. So tomorrow we're going shopping. And then also, my birthday was Sunday, so I have to get myself my gift. Um, I'm in between a Chanel bag and a Cartier bracelet. They're about the same price, but I, I'm leaning more towards a Cartier bracelet because I think for the past two years I purchased bags and I definitely want to get into my like older, like, you know, my grown everyday jewelry if that makes sense like i definitely want to start getting into pieces that if i do have kids it'll basically go down to my kids type of thing so um but the only thing is if i get this bracelet girl i know i'm gonna want to get the ring like i know myself like you can't even play me you can't play me you can't play me dominique you can't play me because if you get the bracelet you're gonna want the ring at the same time but we'll see but like i said i am leaning more towards the cartier bracelet rather than the chanel bag because i bought bags like the past two years so yeah your girl's 24 doesn't feel like it i literally worked so that's kind of what this trip was it kind of was like a little getaway for my birthday and then also i've never been to chicago and i mentioned to you guys earlier that chicago was like on my list of one of the places that I actually wanted to move. So it was perfect timing and the tickets were only like 150 round trip. Um, so yeah, we'll do some shopping tomorrow. We got the boat tour tomorrow. I might move the sky deck to tomorrow instead of Sunday because I don't want Sunday to be too jam packed since I'm only doing the boat tour tomorrow. But I definitely want to, you know, walk around and shop in the daytime. So that's kind of what I have like the rest of tomorrow for because the boat tour, I believe, is like only 90 minutes. But yeah, I'm about to go to bed. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my eyes are like kind of red just because I had my contacts in all day. And, you know, like I, I'm tired. OK, so my eyes are red in case y'all are looking at me crazy. But I'm about to go to bed. I will give you guys a tour of the hotel, like the lobby 
um tomorrow like i said i was just so ready to get checked in downstairs is so cute there was a dj i thought i was in the wrong spot girl i thought i walked in a club by accident i'm not even dressed right like i got a suitcase I'm like, i walked in a club and the concierge um young lady downstairs she was like yeah they're gonna be back tomorrow too so yeah i'm gonna show you guys downstairs um tomorrow like i said you guys can kind of get the vibe from the room it is definitely like art deco i love it it's lots of like red yellow black like purple like that type of thing and then you you guys will see so yeah i will talk to you guys in the morning i'm about to turn all these lights back out and finish watching martin because this is the episode that he proposed to her and this episode is so unmatched it's so unmatched when brian Mc, was brian mcknight girl when he sung that song oh made me cry okay but yeah y'all have a good night what is up you guys so it's the next day it's almost i think like 10 45 i'm getting ready to head out as you guys can see i went ahead and did my makeup and then i just put on a really quick and simple outfit i'm going to show you guys um, real quick so here is my outfit here is so here we go can you focus please? But here's my outfit. Sorry if the lighting is bad. I just have on my um, favorite bodysuit from Wolford. I have on these jeans from Zara that I literally just ripped the tags off of. They're like some mom jeans. And then y'all, I have on these like Hermes dupes. Let me show y'all. These are from amazon like i will have these linked down below for you guys but they are so good these are my first pair i'm definitely going to order the brown pair and they also have a pink pair um we'll see how they do with walking but so far so good um they are true to size in case you are interested and you want to order your pair but yeah let me go ahead and just grab my bag my bag is already packed i have all of my um vlogging stuff extra batteries and all that good stuff and i'm just gonna wrap this around me my um jbw watch i'm sorry if it's blurry jbw watch and this like bangle is from a jewelry store that i um stopped by in puerto rico and then I just have on my Balenciaga Dynasty shades. So we are going to walk to the Starbucks Reserve. That way I can grab me a coffee for today and maybe like a quick sandwich. And then I'm going to take a lift over to like the dock. That way we can go ahead and get on our boat for today. And yeah, I think I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and head out. I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of the hotel. I might do like a little B-roll for y'all. That way we can go ahead and start walking to Starbucks. So you guys, I made it to the Starbucks Reserve. I'm just waiting across the street. There's a line though, and everyone has been telling me that it takes about 10 minutes to get in, which isn't really bad. But you guys know that I have my boat tour today. So we got to be like very cautious about the time. But I really want to go. It's supposed to be like the biggest Starbucks. This is also Michigan that has all of the shops. So we'll be back here later to like walk around and really, you know, take our time. But here is the Starbucks. <laughs> It is where we in our names. It is our Chicago women. I hope you guys can hear me, but I 
just made it to like this little pavilion area and I got some Chinese food and I was able to get a window seat. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna sit, I hope y'all can hear me. I'm gonna sit and people watch and I'm gonna eat a little bit. I don't wanna eat too much because I got a lot of walking to do. Like a lot of walking, but I'm starting to get a little hungry, so I got this. This looks good. I just got orange chicken and white rice. I don't want to take it over too much. And it goes. But the boat tour was stunning, you guys. I learned so much on that tour. Like, I actually was paying attention. <laughs> um, I learned a lot on that tour, but I'm going to sit here and eat because I'm so afraid. Y'all can't even hear me right now, and I'm just talking to myself. Hey you guys, so I made it to the Navy Pier. I just stopped by the bathroom to like touch my makeup up, like my powder and stuff like that, especially because that's why I don't like wearing sunglasses because like it messes up my nose. But I went ahead and touched myself up. I'm debating if I want to get on the Ferris wheel because I'm by myself. <laughs> I think I purchased a lot of one. Um, which the one did kids. you purchase? Um, Is there a way I can... I won't tell if you don't tell. I won't tell. So you guys, we're going to go on the Ferris wheel. I'm so excited, but I really don't do Ferris wheels, but I was like, I have to do it, especially after I learned that the Ferris wheel was kind of originated in Chicago. I learned that on the boat tour. It was after a guy named, I think, like, George Wheel, something like that. Or no, George Fairs. Okay, so I did learn. Hey you guys, so I am all finished downtown like at the pier. I got on the Ferris wheel. I met like this really like cute family. This mom was there with her two kids. They're from here. Um, and we were just talking. They were telling me how they just came from Switzerland. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going next year. So they were telling me about their trip and like showing me pictures basically made me so excited for the trip. Um, you guys know I have a study abroad program that I got accepted into. And we're going to Switzerland, Germany, and Italy. That's next year. So they just made me even more hype about that. But we are on our way to Zara. It's like, a, well, 15 minutes left. It was a 20 minute walk, so we're five minutes down. We're a little less than a mile, so I was like, you know what? Let's walk. Let's get the full Chicago experience. So that's what I'm doing. I'm walking, and I'm out of breath, child. If y'all came here, I'm out of breath. So, I stopped at UGG, but they didn't have anything that I wanted. I really want the UGG mini boots. Like, I, I don't know if they're the ultra minis, but I want them in chestnut, and they didn't have them. So, we're going to keep booking it to Zara, but I almost walked past Cartier. So, we're going to stop at Cartier, hopefully get my bracelet. I hope they have it in stock, um, and then we'll keep going to Zara. I cannot believe I walked the whole thing that I literally called in, like, a lift for. girls we're back and when I tell y'all my feet are screaming okay the shoes are cute can't deny it shoes cute but are they comfortable they were comfortable for the first you know a couple hours you know they're cute just walking around but baby if you have to walk like walk for real don't do it. I think I got blisters on my feet, y'all. I got my bracelet! I'm so excited to do an unboxing. I'm gonna sit y'all up and then I'm gonna, um, let me see if my phone's charged. I'm gonna make sure my phone is charged good enough. My camera's about to die too, it's blinking. But I'm gonna get everybody charged up and then we're gonna do this unboxing before the sun goes down because I kind of want to do it next to the window. That way you guys have like the downtown backdrop. So. 
we're gonna do that but i came back to the room to relax for a little bit and then we're gonna go out and get a deep dish pizza i don't know if i told you guys this but i definitely want to try a deep dish pizza because that's what chicago is known for and i can't come to a city and not try like the food that they're known for like that doesn't make any sense um but yeah let me get all my devices charged up and then i also stopped at Saks fifth i'll show you guys what i got from there girl i've been <laughs> your girl blew a bag today all right i don't need to eat nothing but them wings that's in the fridge if it wasn't for this deep dish pizza i would be eating these wings. <laughs> i just spent way too much money today but it's okay it's <laughs> it's all right it's gonna have to be all right because it's gone it's 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 gone the card is already swiped so um yeah i'll talk to you guys in a minute all right you guys so here is my little unboxing setup um i just wanted to come on here and show you guys what i use to like make an unboxing video so this is my phone tripod absolutely love this tripod one because it gets tabletop size two because it gets like full person size and three because it is bluetooth so you guys see like this little clicker here it's green because it's attached to my phone like it's already linked to my phone and if i were to take it off and i click the button it'll like take the picture on my phone for me so love that next is my light i talked to you guys about this light before but y'all are about to see it in action this is a great selfie light one but two it's also great for unboxing so let me show you guys how powerful this light is i'm going to turn it off and i want you guys to see the difference so this is before and here it is on the phone i don't know if you guys can really see and this is without tell me that does not make a huge difference especially for an unboxing video that is huge so absolutely love this light you just hold it press it and turn it on you do have your battery life back here mine is fully charged and if you like click it you can get different shades of light so this one's a little bit more yellow i believe this one is the mixed one it's mixed with white light and yellow light and then for unboxing, I typically just do like white light because I want it super, super bright. But let me sit y'all up because we need to get this unboxing done. I'm ready to wear my bracelet, okay? Your girl needs to wear the money that she just spent. So let's get this unwrapped. I'm about to go ahead and turn my brightness down. And yep, that's beautiful. What is up, you guys? As you can tell, I went absolutely nowhere to get absolutely nothing girl i took a shower wrapped my hair took my makeup off we are in the bed okay um i just decided i'm gonna turn it in early tonight i am beat i've been out and you know walking around running the streets since what like 10 11 o'clock this morning and i think i've only taken two lifts so everywhere else i've been walking to i did a lot of walking today which i really really enjoyed however she didn't she didn't enjoy it and i was thinking to myself i'm like well dom you always walk like at work and stuff you know like i'd be looking at my apple watch and i think like i'd be walking like five six miles a day at work that's typical however y'all know i had those sandals on so i don't have the support of my own cloud so you know when you don't have supportive shoes your joints take a lot of that shock and y'all know <laughs> my knee joint is not okay so yeah i just decided to turn it in it's 6 55 i'm just gonna chill i'm gonna eat the rest of the wings in there okay because i got like eight wings left i ordered 15 and i think i've only eaten like not even half i didn't even eat half so i have like quite a few wings left so i'm gonna just eat that and i'm gonna chill um i just wanted to come on here and update you guys because y'all probably like girl you supposed to go get a pizza i'm gonna just get it tomorrow tomorrow we got a whole nother full day that's why like i'm gonna just chill because tomorrow we got a whole lot of walking to do as well i'm gonna do the sky deck tomorrow 360 chicago I didn't make it to the bean i'm kind of nervous because i read online that the bean is under construction right now so i don't even know if it's viewable i don't know you know if they have it totally shut off or what the deal is but i'm gonna stop by and see if i can you know pose in front of the chicago bean so that's what we got tomorrow and then i think i have one more excursion or like you know attraction to pick i purchased the city pass by the way if you are interested in coming to chicago like i said i'm gonna have everything listed down below my hotel the city pass website i paid like 130 
for five attractions. The architecture boat tour was one of them. And then, like I said, tomorrow, I believe I have 360 sky deck. And I think I have to pick one more. I think I have like two more actually. So we're gonna hit like four different attractions tomorrow. I really just wanted to do the, t the boat tour today and like really walk up and down Michigan Avenue because that's like an activity in and of itself because Michigan Avenue is like a lot. So um, yeah, I did a lot of walking today. You guys saw I got my Cartier bracelet. I posted it on Instagram um, with like a transparent message. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I posted the bracelet and just like kind of what it symbolizes symbolizes for me. Obviously it's a very cute bracelet, like it's aesthetically pleasing. However, in particular, like this no bracelet is very important to me because you guys know um, I fractured my leg and I never really talked about it but um, me fracturing my leg was like a very tough time because I was home alone majority of the time and you know like when you're home alone like you're really in your thoughts like you can really be in your head and I feel like with the leg fracture um, for some time everything was like up in the air on like whether or not like I would have surgery or you know just like if it was gonna heal and you know you don't really think about it but like you use your legs for everything like you walk you run you jog you go upstairs so um you know just thinking about all that and just going through that whole process like thank god i didn't have to have surgery and um it was a non-displaced fracture so a splint and you know non-weight bearing was enough for it to heal but um even now i still have re you know repercussions of my leg being fractured stairs aren't my best friend um i still can't run i've tried running on the treadmill it hurts um i'm actually gonna get back into physical therapy that way i can strengthen my knee so just all that was a lot mentally um so i wanted something to kind of remind myself that like bro you got through that shit like just me fracturing my leg it was a lot and during that time with me being home and with me being secluded because that's how I felt. I was secluded from work. I was secluded from, you know, going out with my friends. I was secluded from a lot of things. I couldn't do a lot of things. In that time, I took that time to get closer to God. And that's when I started reading my Bible. That's when I started the Bible from the very beginning. And I think I even posted it that I started reading Genesis, which is the first story in the Bible. And that kind of brought me closer to God. And the journey that I'm on now is just really understanding who he is and the truth in the Bible, in his word, and that he is a provider. He is a protector and that he won't put you through anything that you cannot handle and there was times where i felt like i can't fucking handle this bro like i just realized a lot during that time um about myself and i'm about to get emotional because it was a very like tough time for me to you guys it's a bracelet like oh it's a cartier bracelet um yeah it is it's a nice bracelet it's aesthetically pleasing like i said but it's a nail and to me it kind of symbolizes like you're tough as a fucking nail you guys ever heard that saying like tough as a nail um so that's what it means to me it means a lot to me and every time i look down at it i definitely want to girl i got a frog in my throat because i'm trying not to cry um every time i look down at it i just want to be reminded that there's nothing that i can't get through um i might feel oh jesus christ there's nothing I can't get through. There's nothing that you can't get through. And if you are religious, in that time that you feel like you can't get through it, you need to dig deeper into the word of God. That's it. I'm done. Because I'm just because every time I think about it, I just cry. And like I said, like I was trying to get comfort from my mom. You know, like my friends are telling me like it's gonna be okay and stuff like that. But like true comfort and i felt the difference that's the thing like that's what's so crazy i felt the difference like the shift in like the anxiety and my comfort levels you know when i was seeking god princess seeking my family and stuff you know for um for comfort that is it i'm sorry for bringing y'all down that little yeah, but I just wanted you guys to understand what the bracelet means to me. Um, and yeah, 
it is an aesthetically pleasing bracelet it's a very popular bracelet but i definitely wanted something to remind me of the hardest thing like because i must say this is the hardest thing like me fracturing my leg and just like you know questioning a lot it was the hardest thing that i've ever been through in my life so far and i know that life is inevitable and this is not going to be the only obstacle that i have to overcome but i just want the nail to remind me that i'm tough and that i can get through anything so that's that let's move on because i'm about to cry again um i picked up some other things girl um when i went to starbucks reserve i have to find a way to put you guys up okay Y'all are sitting on the pillow. We in a bed. There we go. So, when I was in Starbucks Reserve, of course I had to grab something. I grabbed this little mug. And I showed my boyfriend the mug before I showed him the bracelet. Because this mug just... And he was like, bro, the littlest things, like, get you so excited. And it does. But, y'all, look at this freaking mug. Like, first of all... I went to the biggest Starbucks in the world. That's a flex right there. Anyways, this is my new mug. And of course, it had to be something that has Starbucks on it. Plus like Chicago. Like it has in, it's Chicago, Starbucks, and Reserve. I'm going to show y'all. But this is what it looks like. So it says Chai or Shy. Um, y'all know like shy rack or whatever and then it says deep dish and deep freeze which um chicago is known for and then over here i guess this is the coordinates to starbucks reserve i have no idea and then back here it just has the starbucks reserve um logo and then the inside is black so very chic um i love it i'm like starting to collect little things from my own place so i'm gonna be really excited to finally drink out of this in my own place the mug is so stinking cute and then i before i went to cartier well as i was waiting for my like name to be called because when i initially walked in they told me that you know like all the sales associates were busy so they took my name and my number and they text me when it was my turn to you know go so in the meantime i did walk down to sax fifth and I initially was looking for a wallet because y'all know I have a car case right now. And girl, when I tell you I'm, I'm becoming an adult, like a car case is not cutting it for me anymore. Like my card case is so stuffed that when I need one card, I have to pull up all of my cards just to get that one card. And it's because, well, first of all, now I have insurance cards, girl. It's just a lot it's a lot so it's just time for a wallet that's all that means so i was looking for a wallet um didn't find anything i did stop by ysl she brought out all her black um black wallets that have like gold detailing on them i didn't like any of them i'm getting into that era where if i don't absolutely love it i'm not purchasing it like i can like it that's cool i can like really like it but if i don't absolutely love it like i'm not spending my money on it I'm growing up. I know. It's disgusting. Um, so, yeah. Nothing really screamed to me. And I wanted to stop by Chanel to find a wallet because that's the one I really had my eye on. But I just thought, like, hey, let's check out what YSL has. Um, but Chanel was, like, too far for me to make it back just in case Cartier called me. Um, because I think once they text you, well, once they text you, you get a 10 minute grace period. So I didn't want to be too, too far away. So I just stopped at um, Saks Fifth Avenue and I didn't find a wallet. However, I did, um, I did stop at the Tom Ford counter and I was originally going to buy the Soleil Blanc scent. However, <laughs> I've been meaning to try bitter peach and well i think i smelled it one time i think i smelled bitter peach one time and i remember it was a scent that i would never forget and i was like you know what that bottle is very expensive but i said you know what on a special occasion i'm gonna buy it for myself i'm gonna buy it and i already know about soleil blanc because i have the body glitter um 
but once I, you know, I smelled both of them and I was like, you know what, Dominique, which one do you like more? Because you're not getting both. We're not doing that today because I knew I was going to buy this bracelet. I said, we're not going to do that. You're going to choose. You're going to choose. So I was in between Soleil Long and Bitter Peach and she mixed them. Y'all know how y'all sell the social GSB. Y'all be trying to get, <laughs> and she almost got me because they smell great together. But she reminded me, she was like, you got the, the body oil at home, so just mix them like that. I said, look at you. You know my wardrobe better than I do. I wish there were like a note card. That way I can read off the notes to you guys. But I'll pop the notes up right here. This smells absolutely exquisite. Like, <laughs> this is the bottle. She is so sick and gorge. This is what she looks like. This is bitter peach and we're gonna spray her tonight well you know what no we'll we'll wait to spray this because she gave your girl samples so she gave me two samples and in case you were curious how much that was it was 435 435 dollars so y'all can see why i didn't give both of them okay but yeah she also gave me samples so she gave me tom ford lost cherry i've heard about this i've heard mixed reviews um so we'll see what this smells like and then she also gave me a sample of is it oud oud wood i'm trying to make sure you guys are focused oud wood so i already have lost cherry open let's go ahead and try that one okay yeah no i don't like that one the vibe that it gives me it gives me like I don't want to say like an old person's vibe, but it's definitely way too mature for me. Way too mature. 40s, 50s, mature. So this is Oud Wood, and I'm gonna spray this over here. Mm -mm. That's a no to. All right, so I don't like those two. They definitely smell like what they sound like, like cherry smells like cherry and wood smells like wood like it smells too dark for me it just smells too burnt that's why i say like burnt dark it smells like burnt dark wood so yeah those two are not for me i definitely learned what type of scent girly i am i am more on the floral light fresh side so bitter peach is right up my alley and we're gonna spray some of this tonight she just smells so good and then also, they gave me a little tote, which is so funny because I was just telling myself I should have like brought my tote with me from home to South Dakota. That way I can, you know, have it whenever like I fly and stuff because you guys know I have my boyfriend's graduation to go to as well next month. So I'll be flying again. Um, but I was like, dang, I should have brought like my tote. That way I can like easily get my laptop and my iPad in and out instead of like having it you know in my suitcase or whatever so this will do <laughs> this will do until i get home i'm definitely gonna bring this you know like as a personal item on the flight with me but yeah you guys that's everything that i purchased today i smell like so many scents right now i smell like so many things right now but yeah i'm about to sit here and chill i'm gonna go downstairs and ask them if they got a microwave can y'all heat my wings up please might do an assignment here or there because what's today saturday yeah i might do an assignment because all my assignments are due on wednesdays so i might you know just do one while i'm chilling here and yeah i don't know i may pick the camera up a little later if i'm doing something but i'm probably not so i'll most likely talk to you guys in the morning we have a long day once again ahead of us like i said we have like <laughs> the remaining four attractions that i did not do today and i should have like did two today and maybe like three tomorrow but like i said michigan avenue walking up and down with all the stores that itself is a lot and i went inside of zara in case you guys were wondering i went inside of zara you guys saw me go inside of ugg i didn't find anything in there i just feel like those stores have so much traffic that it's hard to catch, you know, unless there's like a shipment that just came in. Ugg didn't have the minis that I wanted. Um, Zara was basically like cleaned out. Um, so, yeah, didn't find anything. And 
Sephora was really overwhelming. Like I opened the door and I saw how big the store was and I was like, don't feel like going through all this. So, you know, versus like my home Sephora, I know where each section is or just order it off the line. Like I don't need anything right at this moment. So yeah, although I do really, really want to try those faded eye patches, those faded caffeine eye patches for puffiness, I might stop in Sephora tomorrow if like I'm walking past it then I'll stop if not I'm just order it and also I know their um VIB sale is coming up so I might just wait okay that way I can get my nice little discount uh because like I said I don't need anything like right away it's not something that I need to like re-up on everything that I have in my basket right now like on my app is things that I want to try and same thing with Ulta like the store was huge so it was like I'm literally going to be walking around like you know so yeah but that's that like I said not doing anything for the rest of the night I'm about to turn the TV on I think Kadeem is already asleep <laughs> he's already asleep and yeah that's it for tonight I'm about to put my icy hot on my knee and my heating pad which I need to turn on so it can be heating up and I will talk to y'all in the morning what is up you guys so it is the next day happy sunday i am on my way out it's like 10 45 right now we're doing beautiful on time i'm heading out today we have a full itinerary girl we gotta go to the sky deck 360 chicago um the aquarium and then i also want to stop by the art institute so i'm dressed as you guys can see makeup's done today we are bunning it because no no, so let me give you guys a quick OOTD outfit of the day and we are going to head out, okay? So hair clip, it's like a little butterfly shape. I think it's from Target. Don't quote me. These shades, I believe, are from American Eagle. So stinking cute and it goes like perfectly with my outfit. I love the shape of like these type of glasses. That's why you guys probably always see my Balenciaga glasses are like glued to my face because I just love the shape, you know? I love like the very um modern sleek type of style so and as far as my earrings i think they're from shein okay girl i think i bought like a big pack from shein either they're from shein or they're from anna luisa like when i had an anna luisa collaboration one of the two and let me sit you guys down i was going to show you guys my outfit in the mirror but i'm gonna set y'all up because i'm feeling jazzy today so as far as um, jewelry, I have on, y'all know this is the bracelet that I got from Puerto Rico. I have on my new Cartier um, Juice on Clue bracelet and my JBW watch. This is like my basic arm candy, now included in my Cartier, but you guys always know I wear these too. This gold ring is from Ana Luisa 100%, I know that for sure my little like tank top is from zara and for my pants let me show you guys my pants are also from zara and they're just these wide leg pants don't talk about me girl i don't feel like steaming them because i know i'm about to be walking so they'll eventually yeah okay and then my little jesus sandals are from target and y'all know this is my ysl bag so that is the outfit for today let me throw my glasses on and we're out. Let's go be Taurus. Oh, this outfit is so cute. It's like little flowy pants, so fun, funky, and fresh. And the glasses just add on to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and head out. And I will see you guys once we get to start it. But we are stopping by Starbucks first. So first stop is Starbucks. <laughs> Shake Shack twice. This is my second time having it. And I think the first time I had it was in California. Um, but yeah, 
This is what I got. I got a single burger. And I got some fries. So my Sky Deck appointment is like, or reservation is at 1.30. I hope y'all can hear me. It's at 1.30, so it's 12.42 right now. So I'm gonna just sit here and eat and relax. Cause like I said, it's like literally in this building right here. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. finish at the sky deck I really couldn't show you guys a lot of stuff I hope it's not too loud because I'm walking but I really couldn't show you guys a lot especially once I got on the actual deck because one it's timed and they send you in like kind of groups because I guess you know like the deck can only hold so many people at once and girl we don't want it to crack okay so it was kind of like quick 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 they even set a timer like you have 90 I think it's 90 seconds like a minute and 30 seconds to get all your pictures and you know people are taking personal pictures people are taking the professional pictures the one that you buy at the end my mom even wanted me to FaceTime her and I was like I couldn't do it because it was just like quick 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 but it was really nice definitely a nice photo op now I'm on my way to the Art Institute it was about a 15 minute walk from Sky Deck so that's perfect 0.6 miles so not too too bad and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do afterwards I wanted to go to the aquarium but I don't think I'm gonna make it which is fine because I have so many other options on my city pass so not really bummed out about not going to the aquarium because at the end of the day like kind of every aquarium is the same you know so but we got some really cute photos i'm so happy with all the photos that i'm getting during this trip especially with being like on a solo trip like i'm getting a lot of pictures which i'm very happy with. um but yeah girl i'm trying to make sure nobody following me <laughs> yeah so i will talk to you guys once we get to the art institute 0.4 miles nine minutes I'll be there at 2.45, so we're making good time. I'll talk to y'all later. What is up, girl? So I am back at the room, as you guys can tell. Um, I had to come back because my phone is dead, and also I have bags. We gonna get in. <laughs> we gonna get to that in a second. But my phone is dead, and I was like, "Why is your phone dead, Dominique?" Well, it's because I've been out all freaking day. I've been out all day taking pictures, taking videos, just the whole nine yards, which I'm so excited about because I have so many good pictures to post on Instagram and just you know to have in my um, memory. So yeah that's that so i'm just in the room for a little while letting my phone charge because it's literally on one percent i had to stop at like some random restaurant just to call my lift but my phone was dead so i had to stand there and use the charger um, while my lift was on the way but phone is charging i stopped at um Saks fifth off no i stopped at nordstrom racks um, didn't find anything y'all know I'm on the hunt for a wallet luckily and I'm saying luckily Chanel was closed because I'm sure I would have found something in Chanel of course I would have so luckily Chanel was closed okay because that probably saved me 800 to a thousand dollars tonight okay so 
didn't find a wallet there i think i also stopped at macy's didn't find anything there however girl i stopped at this store called primerica i think that's what it's called primark i just made that word up it's called primark i stopped there because i heard about it on um another girl's youtube her name is alexis i will pop her um channel up on the screen here but she got like this really really cute um trench coat and i was gagged and then when i looked up the store it was nowhere near of course there's nowhere near south dakota it was nowhere near like florida you know that way i could order it and they don't have an online um site so girl when i saw that it was here i was like oh yes we have to go find this trench coat we gotta go find it and of course i picked up other things because that's what i do so while my phone is charging i'm gonna do a little try on haul for y'all i did walk out with like two bags worth of stuff and i'm trying to figure out where the hell i'm gonna put all of this because your girl only came with a carry-on i came with a carry-on and my weekender so tonight girl we're gonna have to do some rolling and pushing and stuff and because I don't know what I was thinking when I was picking up shit. Okay, so let me sit y'all down, but we about to do this little haul. Let me let me sit y'all here. Here's all the stuff that I got. Here is the name of the store. Like I said, it's called Primark, and I want to say it's a West Coast thing because yeah, it's not in Florida. It's not like on the South, you know, East South side or whatever. Um, let's start here. So the first thing that I bought was this bag. Tell me this bag does not look expensive. I love this bag so much. It's so stinking cute. And let me show you guys in the mirror. This is what it looks like in the mirror. Tell me this bag does not look like I paid so much for it. I'm so happy with this purchase. And uh, the material is great. So I asked her to keep the stuffing in it because she was gonna take the stuffing out, but I asked her to keep it in just because, you know, like with me getting on the plane and stuff, I don't want it to be smushed. I want it to definitely keep its shape. So yeah, here is the first item. I also picked up some hair clips. So I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, this one's kind of like an olive green and then this one is like a cheetah print type of thing y'all know i love my hair clips and i actually use these and i thought this color would kind of go you know good with my hunter green that i wear to work and y'all for these next pieces don't talk about me okay because i know i live in florida i don't even live somewhere cold but i got a trench coat and i got some other stuff don't talk about me okay i also picked up like this little hat i don't know i just thought this was so cute and i don't know i'm gonna try and style this when i go to italy it looks it looks stupid but <laughs> y'all know what i'm trying to say and i just got it in black because i feel like you know i'm always have black in my suitcase whenever you know i go somewhere and even if i don't style it when i go to italy i can wear that i don't know when i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna just wear it, okay so here is the show stopper the product that i went in for and i ended up getting all of this other stuff tell me this trench coat does not eat it eats you can't tell me otherwise so picture this like with a sweatsuit outfit like hoodie pants and then i don't know some um what do they call it alexander mcqueen's or even my new balance so cute so cute and then like even the outfit that i have on right now look at this you guys it's so stinking cute and it's long this trench coat eats, eats. That's all I can say. And like I said, like even with what I have on now, if it was a little cold outside, I could throw this trench coat on. I love it. And you could close it, but I would definitely keep it open like this. This is a photo op. Like even with some heels on. Next, I picked up this blazer. I can like wear this right at this moment. Like. It's so cute. Even with my glasses on, where's my glasses? Like, very chic. The last item that I picked up, it gives cozy vibes. <sighs> it's giving. It's giving. But yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna let my phone charge up, like I said, and then we are going to head out to Geo Darno's. I think that's what it's called. I feel like I'm butchering that. And yeah, that's it for me.
I will talk to y'all once we head out. Good morning, you guys. So it is Monday, October 2nd. It is 10 o'clock on the dot and I am on the way out. I'm actually about to check out the hotel. Um, all my bags are packed back here. I woke up this morning, took a shower, and I just, you know, packed like my last minute things, toothbrush, um, you know, body stuff since I took a shower. But we're about to check out, girl. I am so thirsty, okay? I need to find the biggest bottle of water that I can find and I'm gonna go it down because I am so thirsty but I think the last time that I talked to y'all I um I don't know I don't know I really don't know but I know last night I did make it to Giordano's and get the deep dish pizza it was pretty good I would rate it like an eight and a half or nine like out of ten it was pretty good um i still have some left i am gonna bring it downstairs with me so i can warm up a slice girl okay and that's gonna be my breakfast but on my way out last night when i was walking to Gio Darno's, the pizza place i stopped at the bar because i was gonna get me you know like a little drinky drink while i was walking to the pizza spot um and i met this young girl she was super sweet she was um here for a well she's here for a work convention she does water filtration she's in the marketing department young girl just like myself um she was really nice but it's so funny because when i got to the bar um the guy next to her i didn't know if they were together because y'all know nowadays like younger girls we have our sugar daddies and we was joking about this when he like left um, so I thought they were together and he offered to buy me a drink and I was like, no, like I'm good. Like I can pay for it or whatever. And she like quickly interjected. She was like, um, this is my boss. And like, you know, she started explaining, explaining everything to me, um, during the conversation. I was like, oh, okay. And basically they're, they're on a work tab. So that's why he wanted to buy me a drink because he ain't really buying it. Um, so I did end up sitting there and having like two margaritas with her and we were just like chit-chatting it up She was like saying how she's here till Thursday And I was just telling her like, you know, get the city pass and I was telling her all the things that like I did with the city pass and You know, we were talking about work and um, how I'm a travel nurse and stuff like that and I'm solo traveling But yeah, while we were talking there was this guy that was basically trying to like hold a conversation with her and let me tell y'all something if y'all see a girl give you girl code and you don't get her out of that situation you better get her okay so like she was giving me the signal like save me so i like finished my drink and i was like all right girl are you ready to go and she was like yeah so like she hurried up and finished her drink and then we walked out the hotel because I was ready to walk to the pizza spot before they closed and um she was like thank you so much I was like yeah girl you're welcome like I know that look I know that look that look is save me okay so um as soon as we got outside like she literally turned back around she was like do you want me to walk with you I was like no I'm good she like turned back around and like ran back inside the hotel past the bar so he wouldn't say nothing to her but yeah if y'all see girl code save her okay but that was my night last night um it was a really nice night i always meet um young ladies on vacation that are you know there for work when i was in puerto rico i met another young lady and i believe she was also there for um like water filtration she was explaining to me how Puerto Rico, you know, their water system got messed up after the hurricane and that's what basically she was there for to fix it. Girl, she was like sitting poolside with her laptop, her shades on. I was like, oh, yes, girl. Um, so, yeah, that was my night last night. It was pretty cool and now we're here. So, I'm headed out. Let me show you guys my outfit, although you guys have probably seen it a million and 14 times. Y'all know this is my favorite Beauty Women set mini flared and i just have on my um north face hiking shoes defined jacket i have my new clip in y'all see it's like army green and it goes perfect with my shoes this is the bag that i got from was it Saks fifth when i bought the tom ford perfume all of my luggage and we're out i am going to miss chicago you guys i like I'm in love. Chicago owes me absolutely nothing. I will nine times out of ten be back. Um, and yeah, this was a great hotel. Very cute. And here is my pizza. 
the Giordano's pizza. I don't know. I couldn't close this last night. Like, it kept popping back up. Right I don't know. But, girl, I'm going to warm me up a slice when I get downstairs. What is up, you guys? So, it is the next day. As you can tell, I'm back in my hotel room. It's Tuesday, October 3rd, and it's 6.37. I am headed out for work, as you can tell, by the scrubs. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and properly shut out the vlog. I didn't pick up the camera this morning because um, I was just, you know, getting back into my little routine. Before I left, I did, like, clear out my mini fridge, so I did have to go grocery shopping because, girl, I had the, like, most randomest things left in my mini fridge. I think I had, like, two kabuchas some blueberries and like i don't know like some protein shakes it was just random stuff so i went to go get some lunches you know for work for the nights or days that i don't feel like cooking and you know just all that good stuff so did that and then we also went to um walgreens because whenever i order from zara um or like whenever i'm on travel assignments period and i want to order from somewhere if they have a pickup point i would just do a pickup point so i did order um this like infamous perfume that miss kyra i'm unique are talking about if you guys know it then you know miss kyra be putting us on to all of the scents she is a youtuber here so definitely check her out but she was raving about this perfume and the girly sold it out i finally got my hands on it so that's why this little mini zara package is so cute like it's just so cute i've never seen a zara package this small but we are going to open it really quick because um yeah i need to get to work girl it's 6 40 and i gotta be to work i gotta clock in at 7. i'm gonna sit y'all here because i don't have my tripod i have no idea where my tripod is i hope y'all can hear me but um kyra was talking about how this is a um dupe for i believe it's called delaney now i don't have the original one that she's talking about but i've smelt it before um the original one was on my wish list but girl is one of the pricier perfumes like how that tom ford perfume that i bought this weekend um in chicago is like 400 dollars. i think delaney is around like three so that one was on my wish list so when i heard that this is a dupe i said oh baby count me in i love a good dupe so this is the name of it it's called true amour and like i said it's by zara i'll have everything like popping up on the screen i can't really think right now because i'm trying to like hurry up so i can get to work um but i wanted to open it on camera with you guys because i wanted to spray it on myself for work to see you know if i like it and like how long it lasts and everything like that oh yeah no it's a dupe 100 percent dupe dupe it's okay gotta get the booty that's to spray the booty but yeah that's all for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend getaway i had so much fun in chicago chicago owes me absolutely nothing um and yeah if you guys enjoyed today's vlog make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already but you guys know the drill until next time i love you so so much and i will see you in the next one oh, yo. i will wait for you